Okay, so now we're going to look at some important um, gynae investigations, as you can see, um, and what investigations you would do when. We will go through this in a, in a PowerPoint um, afterwards. Okay, so conceptually, here we have a uterus with a beautiful, normal looking cervix. Okay, that is a cervix on which you can do a pap smear and you will get a proper video and teaching how to do the pap smear. But the important concept is that this cervix is completely normal. A pap smear is a screening test looking for microscopic abnormalities. So you can't see any abnormality on the cervix, um, but that is what the pap smear is looking for. You would never ever do a pap smear on a cervix that has a tumor. So that brings us to the next specimen. Here we has, have a cervix that's got a nasty tumor growing on it. You would never do a pap smear on that because we are beyond the point of screening. We have a macroscopic abnormality now and so we need to determine what type of cancer that is. And a pap smear is, uh, we're well past the point of doing a pap smear. So for this patient who's got a macroscopic lesion on the cervix, you're going to do what we call a punch biopsy. He has a punch biopsy forceps. And this is what you would do. You've got your speculum in. You've got your patient sitting there. And you just take a little piece. And you can see there's a piece of tissue there. Can you see that? And you would drop it into the formalin. You can see it's sitting down there. That gives you the histology of the tumor. Histology is the full architecture of a little chunk of, of tissue, whereas our pap smear on our normal looking cervix only gives you information about individual cells. It doesn't tell you about a chunk of tissue and how those cells are arranged and what the architecture is and how deep the pathology is. Okay, so there's our little piece of... Um, and that's all that the lab really needs because the histologists will... Um, fix it and uh, and slice it up and look at it. This is uh, formalin that this specimen would go into. It's actually water, but you would fix it in formalin. Okay, so that's cervical things. Now, if you've got a woman who has got abnormal um, bleeding, um, which you think is uterine in origin, this would be particularly relevant in things like postmenopausal bleeding um, or very heavy menstrual bleeding um, in the younger age group. For this, uh, information about the cervix is not going to tell you anything about what is going on inside the uterus. So you need to get inside the uterus to sample some of that endometrium. So I've made up some nice... Um, uh, glittery endometrium in hair gel and I hope that this experiment is going to work. What you would do in that case is a papel. Um, sorry, I just need to clear a notification on my phone. Okay, so a papel, same story as your pap smear or a punch biopsy. You've got the speculum in and you are visualizing the cervix. Um, what would happen is that you would put the papel right inside the uterus until you feel the fundus and the uterus remember is quite small so that's about seven centimeters that's roughly um, the the depth that it would go into but you push it in all the way to the fundus and then you pull out this bottom bit here and you kind of scrape it around it's very difficult to do that because it's plastic you scrape it around to get a sample of the endometrium what you can see, I hope, um, if I put it close up, oh, not so much, but there's a little hole at the tip of this papel, and that forms like a tiny little curette that you are moving around that area to scrape off some of that endometrium. So let's see if this is going to work. So you would put it in, and then you would be using your propel to pull some of that tissue out and there you can see you got a whole long string of endometrial tissue um, that's going to be put also into a specimen of formalin and it does end up looking like a little worm 
uh, and that gets sent off to the lab for histology of the endometrium. So those are three of the very basic gynae um, investigations that are done and we'll talk about some others in the um, ultrasound uh, sorry in the PowerPoint slides.